And then I would have to grab a dice. It's supposed to be the black dice. I'll roll it, and that's a six when my bunny is dead because this is a level six and ties lose. You don't want to stop because it's just so fun to see. Oh, he blocked me. Okay, that's it. You're getting trapped, mister. Yeah, but you cannot win the game until all the monster tokens and active monsters are dead. Well, it's just not hard. I like games where you have to think about it. This is just put it out, take it in, put it out, take it in. And one of my favorite parts are the duels. I kind of, that's kind of my, fun, my favorite part. Well, it's a fun game because you never know what's going to happen. I just four peppers short. And so, it's a fun game, it's food based, uh, yeah, it's pretty fun. Why do you like it? Well, it's a strategy luck thinking game, and I like things like that, so. In other games, it tells you, in some, you can choose, the instructions have some suggested games, like if you're going for big money, it says get these ten, if you're going for most attacks, get these ten. The big meeple is worth two points, the small meeple is worth one point, and if your answer is the right answer, you get one point. I like Roll Through the Ages because it's a fun game where you can get a bunch of stuff and get a chance to do, get a chance to make your own choices. I suggest it because it's fun and you don't know what's going to happen next. My dad killed my mom on Mother's Day before she had her second turn. At the beginning of the game, if you want a potential traitor, you um, get however, knights are however many knights are playing. In this case, there are three, so you get this and four loyalty cards. It is really fun. It's a fast game where there are no certain things happening. Yeah, it's really fun because... People will push you into currents that don't help you and then eventually help you even more without them realizing it. It's random, but it's awesome. Because I like the spaceship thing and I like just how you play. Because I can still try and attack him, but there is a light penalty. If other people have those, you have to wait till they finish their ship entirely before you even have a chance of finding those pieces. Tic Tac Toe is 3.5 because it's a really clever variation, but it's of a simple game. I would rate it a 4 because it's a classic and it's really fun. And yeah, you can randomize it a lot, but it's just not my type of game. But it will, it is for other people. Because it's a game of strategy, luck, and it's different every time you play it. You can try to, but the person in front of you will always change your plan. Always. I found that out. Because it's a good strategy game with luck involved. It, there's tons of different scenarios. Every Depending on who you're playing with, their strategy is different. It's different every time. And you never know what's going to happen. I like games like that. Okay. On the build phase of your turn, what you do is everybody picks up all their dice except for the crown dice and the boulder dice. Then you count down and roll when somebody gets to the designated number. Three, two, one, roll. I would rate Fast Track a five. This is one of my favorite games. It's really simple, but it's fun. Well, because Ninja is a great two-player pure strategy game, so if you just want something to be able to do and test each other's minds, it's a great way to play. It's a great, great game to play. Alright, well, what I've got for you today, Pirate, is what is known today as a paint grenade. Now, everybody knows pirates. You all swashbuffing, invading other people's ships. You're gonna need something to attack them with. Like a grenade. But for practice assaulting ships, you want something non-lethal. So that's why we have a paint grenade. It's like a paintball gun, but a grenade. It blows up, you see if they're dead or not. That's why you need a paint grenade. Practice invading other ships. Or you can start with one player, they choose a faction, and the next player chooses a faction. Up to four people for the starting factions. The winner of each thing changes the rules. You will level up with your factions, and it's 
different for everybody who plays it, and there's no going back. In evolution, it's all about creating new species, feeding the species, and killing everybody else's other species. Well. Like his. <laughs> I decimated him. Because it's a game that's simultaneously a race and a destruction derby. I went into a triple overtime with my older brother. It was very close, and I won, so I like the game. <laughs> it might not be your favorite game. I love the idea of having it flipped over and randomly having to add on that it's safe and fun for infants <laughs> to a toilet paper dispenser. I find that a lot of fun, but I can see that there are some people who definitely find that harder or not as appealing.